Is there a new mechanic? Are you prepared for what lies ahead? To be impaled on the angler's hook, just like the one who came before. It seems the lowly stink bug has made its way in. But it is doubt, so it stands. What does this mean? Oh, are these just the cards in my hand? Ooh! Hang on, what's all this? This is different. No, you may not choose a specific beast. Instead, you must now decide on a tribe that you prefer. Wolf. Ant, maybe? Dragon lizard thing. I like the wolves, honestly. Although this, yeah, this seems weird. Oh, it's like snakes. Okay, reptiles. Do you wish for something else? Yes, because it's six bones for kind of a shit card. I should have gone with wolves. What is this? An ancient woman emerged from behind the oak tree. <gasps> it's this thing. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings and gestured at them briskly. Choose. One of those, one of those, one of those. Do I get these? Sure, I like this one. Let's see what happens. I like the idea of things upgrading over time. The old woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. The first totem was complete. The fledging sigil now marked upon all your squirrel creatures. I'm sorry? Squirrels? The things that are useless that I just get rid of? Those things? They can now become better? How does that work? Is this a fight? This is an intriguing map, my dude. Um. Look. There's a third talking card somewhere. Around here. Personally, I hate the guy. It's the wolf. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan. To get things back to normal. Why are you so different? The cage! I know it's the caged wolf! I've been trying to get- the card seems useless, but I've been trying to get him free for a while. It's difficult, okay? What happens to my squirrels now? I kind of want to play a squirrel for a turn and just see. If I don't kill it, I just play it. We'll even use a squirrel in a bottle for this. And play the bullfrog, just so we don't take damage. If I just leave you on the field, what happens? Pronghorn? Ugh. Hold on! Elder Squirrel- no, take me back to the table. This can attack now! Interesting, so squirrels can actually be used. I don't know if this is the most useful sigil, but it's definitely something. Very interesting. I was gonna say I want to kick his ass with squirrels. Although, mm, yeah, no. I, I was gonna say I wanted to kick his ass with squirrels as a- Put your hand away. As a just a fuck you, but... Ugh, the stoke looks different. Bronghorn attacks Bullfrog, goes away. You can play... Draw a card, fine, we'll draw a squirrel. How very interesting. If I beat you, there's another one up there that I want to see what it is. Okay, we beat him. Simple fight, not that bad. There was another one of these carvy things up here. Alright, what do we got? Wolfies, I'm going with my first instinct. So what happens here? The bones of the ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. With gently shaking hands, she placed her offerings before you. Oh, so this is all my bird cards. Or wolf cards. 
Oh, so I have to choose the birds or wolves. Oh shit! This is gonna get like super strategic with like what cards you pick, like factions and. Okay, so they gave you the squirrel card, which is like kind of a throwaway, like just to show you what it does. Well, wolves, because I like wolves. Gold woman collected her pieces and shuffled open to the darkness. Okay, so I can only have one at a time, so now my wolves all upgrade? Even like the wolf cub? Question mark? There's a mine of some kind up ahead. A wolf in a cage. But how to break it? I know how to break it, I figured it out a while ago. You already level up, but now you level up again, which is... Let's put um, the wolf cub in safety so I can see what happens here. He was already going to turn into a wolf, but now he turns into something else as well. I kind of don't like that it sort of tells you, like, if you don't figure out the thing about the caged wolf, it's like, it holds your hand through it. And, like, I would prefer if it didn't do that, if it was just figure out the puzzles. They're like, there's another one, and you have to figure it out. Because you get the caged wolf card, and then you see there's the caged wolf totem, and then you're like, oh, what if I break him out? But it's quite difficult to break him out. But them being like, oh, you, I wonder how you break him out. Oh, like, that is kind of irritating. Just tell me their secrets. Tell me that I'm looking for a specific card, and then let me figure it out. But don't hold my hand through it, because that's a bit, like, ruins the experience. You still just turned into a wolf. You didn't turn into anything specific. And I don't think I have any other wolf cards. <laughs> Come on, Stoty Boy, you're going up. <laughs> Keep me alive. Um No. You look very different than I remember. It could just be because it's been a while. Alrighty. I have bones, right? Yep. Okay, let's draw a card. We will kill the coyote, because why not? Except that we're not going to kill the coyote, but whatever. In fact, the coyote... Oh, no, we did kill the coyote. Ow. Yep, sorry about that. You're gonna die this turn, unfortunately. Nothing I can do about that. Hey, look, it's the caged wolf. Oh, well, the game's gonna end this turn anyway, so. I was gonna say I could sacrifice something to get him onto the field, but. To the mines! Because we don't know what it is. We came across a hobbled man standing beside some boulders. You caught me off guard! Not supposed to see me till further down the road! Say, I like me a gamble. If and you can pick a boulder that has gold in it, you can keep it. Show me where to strike. Middle, why not? Ah, dagnabbit, no gold, but what the fuck is that? But well, that's a funny looking environment. Keep it. Corpse Eater, if a creature that you own perishes by combat, a card bearing the sigil in your hand is automatically played in its place. <gasps> interesting. Very interesting. I can see this game getting very complicated very quickly. Um, boulder, squirrel, boss fight, regular fight. Well, if I go this way, I get one of these things. Shh, sure, why not? 
Hmm. Just thinking about that. I get it! I understand what to do. Stop bothering me. Ooh, mole. That's a cool looking card. What do you do? When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing a sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Interesting. How many bones do I have? Hey, look, it's the wolf. I have literally fucking nothing that I can play. Fine, let's get the fucking wolf out. Come on, let's go. Get out there. He has six health, holy shit. Hang on. Elder Caged Wolf. I'm gonna die this turn. How many bones do I have? I can play... I can play a U here. Thank you. And then you just keep bashing on... Why'd your health go up? Do I have to win with you on the board? I thought I had to kill you. I don't know, but the Alk Fawn is going to level up, so maybe that'll do something. Maybe not. Because now there's nothing left to damage you. Squirrel, please. And turn. Ha! Huh. That mole's actually pretty useful. I concede. Nope, we keep going. Sure. I was hoping you would play something that would attack. But I guess not. I'm not giving up, dude. Even if it's just for like the spare gold that I'll get. So the caged wolf is a little bit more complicated than I thought. Because <laughs> I thought you just had to whittle it down and kill it, but... Oh, did it level up because I have this thing that makes all wolves more powerful? I have this fucking totem. Ooh, let's do a one blood. Raven egg. Sure. I've got a lot of fucking totems. Yep, yep, it's this lady. Do I want my deer to fly or submerge? Fly sounds more useful. Because I can only have one of these. You want down to place her off in your pack. When you looked up again, the ancient woman had vanished. Now she's right there. Oh, now she's gone. Okay, Prospector, can I get you to kill this fucking wolf? Because I think that's what I need to progress. That's also why I wanted to change the totems. Yeah, 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 it's the Prospector. Hey, look, it's a caged wolf. Something about that caged... I get it! I get it, I get it, I get it. Stop fucking telling me this. I don't have any emergency squirrels to get it onto the table. Pack mules the trick. 
If I can get it onto the table right near the end of the fight and the prospector kills him, would that count? I don't know, but we're going to put it onto the table now. Because I guess getting it in early is important. We're not trying to win, we're literally just trying to get the wolf out. Um, I'm gonna play you just to do some damage. And we'll play the smoke as just a sort of shield, I guess. Okay, well, he's damaging it. So many bones. Let's get a squirrel. Let's play my wolf cub against your wolf cub. And see what happens. Come on, just a few more turns and the coyote will... do what I want. Um, guess we're gonna have to draw something. Come on, coyote. Yes! That's what I needed to happen. What was that? So the cage is now broken. Doesn't matter if I win this fight at this point. Which is good, because I'm probably not gonna. Okay, let's just get the bullfrog in. Suck up some damage. You're only gonna survive for one turn, but that's fine. We can get the pack mule next turn, and hopefully that helps. Bones? Ooh. Sure. I'm doing some damage. Yes, we got the pack mule. Squirrel, skunk, wolf. Corpse maggot. My mule and her pack! Nice. That was actually a very good attack. Corpses are in no short supply. I've noticed. Um, yeah, let's get the skunk. Oh, I have to draw a card. Easy boss. Just pop that mule. Yeah, I've done that already. Put you in there. Okay, who does the most damage? You actually do damage, so you'll go in. You sure? No, but... I'm also not overly concerned about actually winning. I do feel like they handed me the ability to get the wolf out, the, the caged wolf. Raven egg? Okay, so now all of these guys die. There's gold in them cards, blah blah, kill, 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 okay. Gold, obstruct gold, yeah, blah 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 blah. Let's get some squirrels up, because we're gonna need it. Not much I can do until you deal with the gold. Mm. How much I can do at all, really? Stop and draw a card. Fine. Do I have six bones? Oh, I do. Nice. That's actually useful. Because I can actually kill the blood in this game. Get some squirrels going. We're running all low on cards. I mean, I talked shit about the Rattler, but it's not doing horribly for me at this point, actually. Um... Who are we thinking? I guess we're thinking the Skunk, because we don't really have anything else to play, and it will disable the Adder. So the Adder is now not really a threat. Hey! That was actually really easy. I don't know if I'm just a lot better at the game or if they're making it 
easier. I don't know, it was a lot easier than the first time we dealt with the Prospector. Very well, you may choose a rare card. Goody, I love this bit. The uninspiring Gek. Perhaps you can find a use for it. What does it do, though? Ooh, holy shit. This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. It costs four, but it does seven. So you could win the game with this card. Like, if you had this on the board, it would win alone. And then a strange larva. Well, I'm not going for that again. The Gek costs nothing. It's a free card. Sure. It's not very powerful, but it's free. Um, yep, okay, we're going into the wetlands, but before I do that, let me see. The air grows thick with moisture, the buzzing and chirping of insects, blah 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 blah. Something is not in its cage anymore. And then that goes here. Which gives me a knife. You've pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel, though you may wish you hadn't. Okay, Ooh, what do I do now? Magpie and squirrel. I think I have, because he's changed. Do I get something if I play these cards? Okay, now what? I have the dagger. Alright, but what does it do? I freed it, now what? The Tragic Rat King. When their tangled bodies become corpses, you will gain four bones. Beehive Adder. Sure, let's go for the Rat King, why not? The Beehive never did what I particularly wanted it to do. Let's get some cards. Or some upgrades. Um, what the fuck? You look very different. Um, what will we put this into? They are changing. They're looking more and more like people. That's cool. Oh, let's do it into the Gek. Then I get bones if the Gek dies. Interesting. I wonder if there's a limit how many times you can upgrade things. And boss fight! What does the dagger do, my dudes? Ew. That's a head I haven't seen in a while. Okay, let's do this. Wolf cub, squirrel, go! Hey, he has bees. Right, we now have a wolf. Let's get one of these. And one of these. And uh, one of these to do some level of damage. Bad play. It was a bad play because you can't do any damage. Shit, I didn't think about that. I should have played the other thing that can do damage. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. That was a bad play. If I had played the raven, at least. What does this do? To you, the user, you'll place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. Okay. So it's like the pliers. So if I'm losing horribly, I can use that. Well, it appears I'm fucked. Wirral Raven Sure That doesn't no I'm dead Ooh one more go 
Hopefully the raven because it can fly can do something. Come on. Oh, the raven did pull it back. Whew. So we're doing slightly more damage than he can do each turn now. Five bones. Although the stoat is kind of useless and might be worth sacrificing. You will do one less damage, but it's still damage. Sure. Ah, fine, I'll fucking draw a card. Oh, shit, I was supposed to draw a thingy, a squirrel, so I could play the wolf. I was gonna play a squirrel, then sacrifice the squirrel and the stoat for a wolf. Because right now the stoat can't do anything. But the wolf can. Yes! Okay, I like those games where you have to, like, think about tanking damage. Ooh, there's mushrooms up here. What does that do? The Adept Kingfisher, Slippery Hunter, the Adder, another Rat King. Sure, why not? We got rid of our old one. What happens here? Ugh. Ah, I don't like that. You find yourself among a grove of thick and pungent mushroom. You squint to see a figure through the fog of small ones. Ooh. You're pretty cool. You're like a little second head growing out of you. And we are performing experiments from far, far. We are not welcome elsewhere. While you experiment, we will need two of the same creatures. So that's why you get... Okay. I see. That's why you get that. I like wolves. My wolves get boosted. I see, I see, I see. I can see this game is going to require a lot of strategy as you progress. That's why when you could pick cards, like little mushrooms pop out under them. Salutations. Hey, what's up? You're very angry that I've sacrificed you a few times now. We got some bees coming in, guys. Let's go. Do you change the more I win with you, or is it just, uh, as time goes on situation? Hmm. Nice. Okay, there goes the grand fur. Let's draw. Come on. Nice, 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 nice. And you wanna get a wolf next turn? I like my wolves. Hey, I got a bee. Why did I get a bee? <laughs> Not sure, but I got a bee. And a wolf. And let's just draw a card and see what comes up. Corpse Muggets. That's actually a really nice card. Hey, I got another bee. One more attack and I can get a fuck ton of damage. I want to see something. The wolf will do more damage. Fine. Then the stout and the bullfrog combined. So if I sacrifice them, and then I can play something in the slot. I guess a B, because it's what I have. Then I'll get more over damage when this ends. Yeah! Planning ahead! 
Um, let's get some cards, and then we can go to the mushroom people and see what they do to duplicates. River Otter. Ooh. Vulture, Tyrant of the Skies. Eight bones, though. Let's go for some low-cost cards. Hey, guys. I want to see what you do to duplicates. I'm curious. Mmm, still don't like that. Find yourself among the grove, blah, 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 blah. You squint to see a figure through the thing. Yes, I know who's here. I just talked to them. <laughs> Please don't hurt my wolves. I love my wolves. I think this could get messy. Look away. Ugh, my wolves! The wolf, it is one now. Oh, my poor wolves. Let's go. What did they do to my wolf? Hey, I got my geck. And we'll play a squirrel so that we can play the raven egg and get a raven in a turn. Nice. Thanks for the bones, dumbass. Nice! Now we got a raven. Let's draw. It's me, I know. I was hoping for something that cost bones, if we're being honest. Still, should be fine. Hmm, I say that. Okay, Squirrel. I'll attack you, because you're the big hurty hurty. We're not gonna. Oh, we are gonna kill you this turn. Nice. We're right back where we started. <laughs> Feels like it's going the same thing over and over, but you're not giving me the option to draw. A lucky draw, indeed, because I have bones. You're gonna die this turn, my stinky friend, stouty friend, whatever the fuck you are, you're gonna die. <laughs> yep. Oh no, you're still alive, that's cool. Bones? Oh, it's my wolf. He does a lot more damage and has a lot more health. Oh, what have they done to you? Was it worth sacrificing two wolf cards to get it? Hard to say. This would be a good round if I had a squirrel to sacrifice the stout, because he's going to die anyway. And so I could have sacrificed them for something better. Like the Rat King. Had I thought that through, I would have done that. Eh, yeah, but I won anyway. Let's go this way. We're going cheap. Hey, it's me! This is actually not a horrible card. Ironically. Hey guys. I know exactly who I want to put in here. And it's me. The health of better card was enhanced by the warmth. Blah, 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 blah. I've never lost a card to that place yet. All right. Okay, let's lose. I'm ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it, 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 I get it. I get it! <laughs> Lucky draw. Even having freed the wolf, I don't particularly know how it helped me, other than I got this knife. Which can help me balance the scales, I guess. Let's wait it out, so I can draw a squirrel. We know that's how this game goes. Squirrel! Then, let's get the wolf cub into the game. No, he should go for the squirrel! Oh shit, he goes for the last card you played! I should've done that in the other order! Shit! I just completely wasted that. And now they get a wolf cub? I just fucked myself. 
They get a wolf, not a wolf cub. Um, draw squirrel. Put the smoke on the table to block the wolf. I just completely fucked myself. Um, it's game over. That one move fucked me. I cannot believe I did that. I was doing so well. And then I can just... Yeah, 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 I get this. The cost is gonna be... Oh, my poor wolf. Look at what they've done to you. Sure. It's power and health. Sure. Extract the sigils. From the geck, I guess. Ah, uh, whatever. What's a good name? What's like an old timey name? Whatever. I don't care. I'm just pissed off because I killed myself. Yeah, whatever. Take the photo. 